almost one year since Ryan Larson disappeared. Search and rescue teams were back out on Walnut Creek today, armed with new equipment, hoping to find new clues into where the 12 year old could be. Ryan walked out of La Vista West Elementary just before noon on this day last year. A neighbor saw him around 1.30, just blocks from the school at the Southfield apartment complex. He lived there with his mom and sister. Law enforcement spent days scouring the area along with other places like Walnut Creek. That's where KETV Newswatch 7's Michelle Van Doer is live with today's renewed search for Ryan. Michelle. Well, David and Alexandra, law enforcement is focusing on the Walnut Creek Lake area here because the La Vista police chief tells me that's pretty much uh, the only place that they have something to go on. He tells me that a cadaver dog picked up the scent of human remains here on the lake last year and one year later heading back to that same spot. Still no definitive answers as to where is Ryan Larson and what happened to him. The Sarpy County search and rescue team has done this before. Scouring the water at Walnut Creek to search for a missing boy. We have some new equipment uh, available to us that Sarpy County uh, has. And so they wanted to uh, put that in the lake. The lake is a lot clearer now than it was uh, last time we were out there. This day has more meaning though, as 12 year old Ryan Larson vanished one year ago. We're trying to find a young man that uh, that's out there somewhere. Volunteer Patrick Morrissey and his specially trained cadaver dog prize are back at it again too. He was interested in, a, in an area. Did you go back there? Yes, we did. And? Not today. No, it's been a year, but no, he's not interested there. Prize can tell the difference between human and animal remains, but the scent that got him excited last year isn't as strong 12 months later. Water is a different story because water is always moving. And so the scent is moving away from the, on the on land. Prize even sniffed out the shore and land in that area. And again, nothing significant. But Chief Lawson says Walnut Creek remains a focus in the search for Ryan. We have something to go on that we don't have, you know, at the, at the, the lake at uh, La Vista Central Park uh, at Thompson Creek. We, don't, we didn't have any of that there. So this is, a, this is the best thing we got right now. Well, Lawson also tells me there's an area here in the lake that the searchers just couldn't get to today. So they're going to regroup and they'll review that data that they collected today from all of that new equipment. And then they'll come back out here to search some more for Ryan Larson and hopefully put an end to everyone's wondering and bring some closure to the family. Reporting live from Walnut Creek, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7.